second one is obtained by adding 1 1 here the second terms obtained by adding minus 2 means every consecutive numbers comes by some definite rule means by adding particular number this is called progression progression can be positive progression can be negative this is positive progression this is negative progression the main topic now is arithmetic progression arithmetic progression in a progression if a particular <coughs> number is being added or subtracted it is called arithmetic progression progression is of two types mainly ap and gp in arithmetic progression the next number comes after adding particular number in gp the next number comes after multiplying or dividing any particular number both must have to follow the definite rule they will have to follow mathematical rule so this is the arithmetic progression finally we can say arithmetic progression can be defined as the set of numbers which follow some definite rule and comes after adding or multi uh, subtracting particular number in the sequence they are called arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression the first term is mainly denoted by small m difference between two consecutive terms is denoted by small d total number of terms denoted by small n the nth term is denoted by a n r t n in ncrt it is you n is used we have to use t n particular term number and l denotes last term denoted by L so, means term number 1 term number 2 term number 3 term number 4 term number 5 and so on first A second term obtained by adding or subtracting the particular number and this particular common difference is called D. So second term can be denoted then as expressed by A plus D. Third term again in the second term one common difference D will be added to it become A plus 2D. Similar this is A plus 3D, A plus 4D and so on. By observing these, term number 1 0 d, term number 2 1 d, term number 3 2 d, term number 4 3 d, term number 5 4 d. In the same way, the nth term T n or A n can be denoted by 1 less d 5 term number 5 1 less 4 d term number 4 1 less 3 d term number n n n term 
will be a plus 1 less 1 n minus 1 d. So this is the last term or n term. It is represented as t n equal to a plus n minus 1 d. This is the first formula to find out the n term of an AP. It is also known as last term. N term and last term is almost same. L equal to A plus M minus 1 D. These are the formula to calculate the particular term of an AP. But this is from the beginning because this is first term, second term, third term and so on. If we are going to calculate the n term from the last, of course, the difference will have the opposite sign. If the progression is positive progression, d must be negative. If the progression is negative progression, d must be negative. So because we are going to calculate the n term from the last, here the d must be negative. It can be represented as n term from the last n term from the last can be denoted as t n equal to a minus n minus 1 d this is the n term from the last because d is negative that is why in place of plus it become minus now see the exercise 5.1 in 5.1 the first exercise is in first question in which of the following situation does the list of numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why the first question the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer let's see by the diagram Here it is given for the first kilometer. It is fixed rupees fifteen. Means if anybody travelling only one kilometer will have to pay rupees fifteen only. For next consecutive kilometers, rupees eight per kilometer, rupees eight for this one kilometer rupees 8 for this 1 kilometer means traveling to 1 kilometer will pay rupees 15 traveling to 2 kilometer will pay 15 plus 8 equal to 23 rupees traveling to 3 kilometer 15 plus 8 plus 8 again equal to rupees 31 for 4 kilometer for first kilometer 15 second kilometer 8 third kilometer 8 fourth kilometer 8 total rupees 39 now check for first t 
टी वन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन टी वन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन टी टू इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री टी थ्री इक्वल टू थर्टी वन टी फोर इक्वल टू थर्टी नाइन एंड टू वन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू टर्म्स टू कॉन्सकेटिव टर्म्स इज एट डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू कॉन्सकेटिव टर्म्स इज एट डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू कॉन्सकेटिव टर्म्स इज एट डिफरेंस बिटवीन एंड सो फ्रॉम दिस एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज ऑप्टेन बाई एडिंग द पर्टिकुलर नंबर एट So this statement belongs to AP. In the same exercise, one of the question is given for uh, simple interest and compound interest. So, student, be very clear. The question belongs to simple interest always form an AP, whereas compound interest uh, statements. never follow the rules of ap because compound interest is the interest which is obtained from principal and interest means interest on principal and interest become compound interest to so every consecutive years the compound interest increases but in simple interest the particular amount comes every month or every year whatever the case case so every question belong to simple interest must we have to form ap every question which is based on compound interest will never form an ap second question is a very very simple question write the first four terms here a and b is given a means t1 second term t2 can be obtained by a plus t third term a plus 2d a plus 3d and a plus 4d question number 3 again simple question you have to give here the first term and the common difference see in the first question 